Today, over three quarters of a million British school kids are thought to be dyslexic. But many go undiagnosed and schools can find it hard to cope with the 4% of children that are severely dyslexic. Ten years after leaving school, Cara's going back to the classroom to meet some of these children. She's visiting one of Britain's 14 registered specialist schools for dyslexics. It's a last resort for many of the pupils here. I'm really kind of excited about seeing a school that specialises in something that I've had throughout my life. Shapwick is a private boarding school where lessons are tailored to the needs of each of its 170 boys and girls. Hello. Good morning, Cara. Hello. Come on in. This is a lovely small class. It's very no easy. snoozing in the back row, I'm afraid. In the back row it is only the second row. I know. We've set you up a desk here. Okay. If you'd like to sit down in your can join in with our English lesson this morning. Shall I try my best? Don't show well, me up too much. And anything you're not sure of, you can ask Will, because he's had lots of English lessons in okay. this classroom. So you're used to it. So before we start that, who can tell me, what are these letters called? Patrick? They're called vowels. They're called vowels, that's right. If they were people, what sort of people would they be? Alex? They're cowards. They are, they're sort of cowards, aren't they? Dyslexia doesn't just affect reading. It can obstruct short-term memory too. What do we know about this letter here? It's the big K. It's not very nice. So pupils here are taught new words by linking them to bright colours, shapes and stories to help store them in their long-term memories. It's called multi-sensory learning. What do we need to do to the little vowels to help them? We give it a friend that makes the same sound. What I'd like you to do, boys and girls, is to make your alphabet with your plastic letters. Now, listen carefully to this one. Tank. Tank. Oh my god, is it CK? <laughs> I thought it was just K. What? Right. Why? Why did you think it was just K, Cara? I thought it was just K because the N is there to protect the Exactly. A. So you're right, it is. Oh, thank you. You're absolutely right, don't worry. Cara's <laughs> <laughs> already breaking school rules. <laughs> You're not whispering in the back row. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Most dyslexic school children don't get this kind of support. But to come to a school like Shapwick, parents must pay fees or fight for very few state funded places. I just know that the normal way of teaching didn't go in for me and actually now this this is it and it's kind of making me laugh because it's so funny how i know i would have it just makes sense that it goes in because you're learning in this way you'll be so more advanced than i am will is 10 and like many dyslexics he also has associated conditions which can make school even harder he started boarding here two years ago after falling behind and being picked on what do you remember finding the most difficult? Maths. Oh, I don't like maths either. I mm, wasn't very good at spelling. And also, I wasn't, I wasn't very good at um, reading either. They just made me feel like I was awkward. I wish I could be somebody else. But then when I came to this school, I realised that I, I want to keep who I am now because I know that I'm not stupid. What word were you practising, Will? Pockets. Pockets. As part of their English lesson, the children spell out words with physical movements. It helps the words to stick in their long-term memories. K makes you remember the shield protecting the K. The shield protecting the K. Yeah, I like that one. It just goes in, doesn't it? Yeah. K... Um, Ten years ago, her old school did its best to help her, but for Cara, this way of learning is a revelation. Pocket, well done. And I've just realised today that everything I learned at school was not, it wasn't progressive at all, it was just all stag staggered and I did used to put my hand up and I was confident enough in an awkward way to say, I'm sorry, miss, whoever, I what did you say again or what ha what do you mean or 
and the teacher's answer was, you should have been listening, Cara. And I remember I didn't hear that once. I heard that over and over and over. And actually, the teachers really thought I wasn't paying attention when I was paying 100% attention. And also, you know, I was talking to the teacher today and we said how actually some kids can then go into having behavioural problems because they're told so many times that they weren't listening and they weren't paying attention and they're bad. When actually, naughty kids in other schools have come to this school and they're not naughty at all.